Well, I think there's a lot of work to do um, over the next three weeks, but I think that's doable. Um, um, but I think it's, uh, I hope we will be in a position by the time uh, the EU leaders meet uh, to be able to um, uh, say that we've made sufficient progress to allow us move to phase two. Uh, but I think for that to happen, um, there needs to be significant movement in a number of areas. Obviously, from an Irish perspective, we're focused on the island of Ireland issues, uh, north and south, uh, on getting credible answers uh, and a credible roadmap, or the parameters at least, for a credible roadmap to ensure that we don't have a hard border on the island of Ireland again that not only undermines trade, uh, but more importantly underlines, uh, undermines the normality on the island of Ireland that has been the very basis of a successful peace process for the last 20 years. But the British government does not want a hard border. They insist it will not happen. But sure, you know, that's, that's aspirational. Uh, with all due respect, uh, we can't move to phase two on the basis of aspiration. We have to move to phase two on the basis of a credible roadmap or the parameters around which we can design a credible roadmap to ensure that it doesn't happen. So nobody wants a hard border on the island of Ireland, but we want to make sure that in phase two, we don't have a situation where people say, well, sorry, uh, th the aspiration is for no hard border on the island of Ireland, but we don't know how to achieve it. Uh, and the truth is, if we see regulatory divergence in the two jurisdictions on the island of Ireland, it is very hard to see in that scenario uh, how you avoid uh, hard border checks. Uh, and so we need progress on this issue in the context of the reg regulatory divergence issue. Uh, and I hope and expect that we can get that by December so we can all move on. If we can't, well then, uh, I think there's going to be a difficulty moving on. In a word, is Ireland prepared to block progress? Well, I don't think Ireland will have to block anything on its own. Uh, there is absolute solidarity across 27 countries here. Uh, they are with Ireland on this because we are making a fair uh, but very firm case. Uh, and I believe other European countries will stick with Ireland. But a no um, deal so with Britain would harm Ireland, surely? Of course it would, uh, but we're not talking about a no deal here. What we're talking about is whether we can move on to opening up phase two in parallel with, uh, uh, with phase one issues in December. Uh, without sufficient progress on the Irish issues, that can't happen. Thank you very much. Thank you.